is your child suffering from autism or child is not speaking and you are searching for right treatment and therapy or you are taking treatment and therapy from long duration but your child is not showing any improvement then this video is only for you good morning friends i am dr dk rai and welcome in our autism video series second video in which i have discussed about a checklist for treatment of autism i have mentioned about it in my book is your child autistic also but i will discuss in detail these points first point i will start before that i would like to say that you have to take paper and pen and you have to count the treatment point implemented in your child and write in comment box that the total number of treatment points implemented and what challenges are you facing at present also mention in comment i will try to make video on that also you can also suggest topic for next video and please subscribe the channel for getting such type of videos in future checklist for treatment of autism first point is pre defined assessment procedure it may be cars means childhood autism rating scale or isa indian scale for assessment of autism or any other means child should be assessed on a pre defined assessment procedure if it is implemented in your child then you have to give 10 marks and not implemented then you have to give one mark second point is detailed diagnosis of autistic child it should be multi layer diagnosis to cover all aspects of asd to find out the root cause and associated medical comorbidity like first you have to decide that your child is having asd or not second point is any associated medical comorbidity like add adhd means attention deficit hyperactivity disorder seizure sleep disturbances gastrointestinal problem like diarrhea constipation pain in abdomen or any dental issues then third point is the what is the root cause because if you are not going on a root cause and just usually the parents are just deciding my child is having autism and they are started the therapy but giving therapy without knowing the root cause is only giving the paracetamol without diagnosing the case of fever like in fever if you will continue the pcm fever will subside and after that that again fever will arise because you have not gone for detailed diagnosis and treatment so that you have to go for diagnosis that child is suffering from malaria or typhoid and then you have to treat by both pcm and antibiotic in the same pattern you, i am not saying that you have not go for therapy but along with therapy you have to treat the root cause like child with asd have allergy like they are allergic to gluten or casein or any other food items they have also metal toxicity like cadmium mercury copper lead aluminium toxicity some child has micronutrient deficiency like vitamin d b12 b6 magnesium calcium omega 3 fatty acid some child have my gut microbiome alteration like healthy bacteria are less in number and harmful bacteria are increasing rapidly or mitochondrial dysfunction which is known as the powerhouse of the cell and which is which is not working properly other reasons are candida infection or mold biotoxin or lyme disease then we have to diagnose what is the root cause of the problem because if child is not speaking or hyperactivity the only symptom but what is the main cause behind that problem in brain or problem in gut we have to find out problem in hormone or problem in nutrients we have to rule out and then we have to treat accordingly for getting better results if these things are not addressed then child is not improving so that if check in your child that these things are addressed or not if not then you have to go for that so that if your child is not improving from lung treatment and therapy then you have to implement these points also next is routine of a child 
autistic child are visual learner and they try to adopt a fixed routine and fixed system like they will prefer to sleep at definite time they will prefer to eat at definite time they will prefer to read at definite time and want therapy at the definite time if you will change the time of therapy time of sleeping then they will become disturbed and they the struggle of parents and child will be started if you are maintaining the routine then a consistency will be maintained in therapy and other things like sleeping and other aspects also and child will cooperate in a better way to parents and a better child parent relationship will develop by a fixed routine so that routine of a child is also a part of treatment if child is lacking routine then they so tantrum because a routine will guide the child what to expect expect at which time and how to react at that time then next point is scientific base or logic of the treatment i will not remind at every point that you have to continue your scoring system because i will continue the explaining and you have to mention the scoring system on paper and pen next is the what is the base of scientific base or logic of the treatment like the treatment or therapy you are giving is approved by any science or any research or any logic based like if you are giving applied behavior analysis aba therapy it is based on giving reinforcer after finishing work to release dopamine happy hormone to make the child happy means it is based on the principal goal of making the child happiness i have already told about the four aspects of treatment which should be covered in every treatment of a child i have already discussed in other videos you will get the link in description and you can watch that video also then next is the massage or physical touch it will release the oxytocin love hormone and help in socialization play therapy is also helpful by releasing oxytocin a love hormone and help in socialization and there is music therapy because child is sensitive to sound music therapy is helpful by releasing endorphin a painkiller hormone to make them happy and light therapy also helpful because child is sensitive to light and stabilize the mood and unwanted behavior and hyperactivity reduction next is a goal you must know the goal of your child therapy because if goal is not decided improvement will not be done so that if you are taking the treatment you should ask to therapist that in which goal you are working not a vague goal vague should, goal should be a smart and you should know that what goal is at present therapy of your child because if you are not knowing the goal like that that you are sitting in a car and you have not told to a driver where to go but just you have told that start and go ahead so that if you are not knowing the goal and not deciding the goal then progress will not happen and it should be smart means specific measurable achievable realistic and time bound like learn four body parts in four months it should be realistic and measured and it have a deadline also not a extraordinary goal that could not be achieved in a definite time next point is you progress of a child should be measured at definite interval preferably after every 3 months it may be attack means autism treatment evaluation checklist attack was originally designed to evaluate the effectiveness of autism treatment but it can also be beneficial as a screening tool for autism the checklist have four components like speech language and com communication socialization sensory cognitive awareness health and phys health physical and behavioral issue next point is personal attention child is given one to one therapy or group therapy personal attention is also important then success rate if you are starting any treatment or therapy 
then you should know the what is the success rate of that treatment it could be by google review rating or social media review or testimonials it will help to choose the right treatment next is your treatment should be a holistic it should cover physical mental social emotional aspects of the child like physical health in holistic physical activity is also great for kids because it will improve their fitness coordination and strength and it will decrease the stress stereotypical behavior hyperactivity and aggression it may be walking running jumping swimming jogging dancing basketball and cycling mental health in holistic alternative therapies may be helpful to improve the mental health of a child to reduce stress and increase your awareness of reaction of the child it may be yoga therapy meditation hypnotherapy music and art therapy next is nutritional health nutritional health is very important role in treatment of autism it may be gluten or casein free diet ketogenic diet is free diet restriction of food allergens use of probiotics and dietary supplements like vitamin a c b6 folic acid b12 minerals magnesium omega 3 fatty acid as per need of the child i have made a detailed video on nutritional health of a autistic child you can see this video by getting link in the description then social health in holistic child having poor eye contact does not respond to parents smile or other facial expression does not look at object parent is looking at or pointing social health in holistic has improvement by play skills like taking turns in games or sharing toys conversation skills choosing what to talk about or what body language to use emotional skill like managing emotions and understanding how others feel problem solving skills like dealing with conflict or making decision in social situations social health in holistic include the practice play like it will improve the behavior of child you can say to hug your teddy bear we are are feed the teddy and put it on bed <clears throat> it will improve the imagination power of child praise is also helpful if child is giving positive response in communication or interacting with you positively then you should motivate by giving reinforcer other is role play you can use role play before play dates and other social events like do a role play where your child suggest what to play with other child like becoming a doctor engineer teacher and other is social story stories of fairy tales will improve the imagination power of a child an effective way to teach your autistic child skills like communicating and joining it with others emotional health in holistic case also important your autistic children experience a range of emotion but they might need support to recognize understand and manage their emotions and calming down is the important point and it has a five steps first is notice the emotion second is name the emotion then pause and say nothing and fourth is support your child while they calm down and fifth is address the issue that is spark the emotion then sensory stimulation your child could clap their hands if they are excited or squeeze a cushion or a sensory toy if they are angry then relaxation exercise your child could try some relaxation exercise to see what works for them for example they could count to 10 take five deep breaths or think about something that makes them happy and calm other are change the activity like encourage your child to take a brain break like calm down and listen to their favorite music read a book or listen to a podcast about their special interest give a break 
your child could go to for a walk, get a drink of water, or find a quiet place to sit. Then physical activity, your child could go for a short run, kick a football, do some push-ups, or shoot some basketball hoops. Then treatment should be in distraction-free environment, no excess light or moving light, and no excess sound. Then cost, duration and location should be favorable, like if the therapy plan for treatment should be a pocket friendly. If it is not affordable, you will discontinue after one or two months, then money and time will be wasted. So you have to take decision on, base, on the basis of your pocket. Then duration, how much duration is needed to your child? It should not be very much or very less, like some parents are engage their children in a many activities like child is going for school then going for therapy then for music then for dance then for other activities so that child is over engaged you should not do that because it will harm the child progress no improvement will be done by excessive engagement of the child it should be reasonable and it should not be extraordinary long. Then location should be favorable. If a treatment or therapy center is far, then child will become fed up from a long duration of traveling. And after that, he will not cooperate at home for any activity or therapy. Because result will not come by therapy, it will come by repetition of therapy so that home therapy plan is necessary. You will focus on 24 by 7 care, not 1 or 2 hour therapy. If you are dependent on 1 or, one or 2 hour therapy, then your child will not improve because it, 23 hours is not done anything that is needed for improvement of the child. If you are using 24 by 7 care, then you will get 20 times better results to improve your child. So that result will come faster. And you have to repeat the therapy at home, which is done at therapy center. Then another point is parent training. You have to focus on 24 by 7 care so that you have to take the training that how you have to give the therapy. It is not the rocket science and some simple therapies you could learn easily and you could repeat at home for better results. It is proved by a research that if therapy is done at home by parents in a favorable atmosphere, then it will give five times better results and child will get 20 times more opportunity to repeat the skills and it will give better results so that Parents training is important aspect. The next is monitoring of home therapy. If therapy is done at home but not monitored that you are doing right or wrong, then child will not improve. So that your home therapy plan should be monitored by some expert that you are giving the right therapy. And if any improvement is needed, he or she should advise in home therapy plan. These are the points you should check in the treatment of your autistic child and if you are not implemented all these points then your child will not get the progress quickly so if you are going to start the treatment and therapy you have to check these points and if you are already doing or taking treatment from long duration and long time then you have to check what points are missing and implement those to get the better results and improvement of your child. I think at this moment you could be aware that what is the reason behind your child is not getting progress. I am 100% sure that your answer will be given by this video that why your child is not getting improvement. If this video is helpful for you, share with other parents, like it and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching the video.